Wendy and I'm so excited for today's video because I am finally telling you guys how we started our business. They have been requested. I have received so many messages asking us exactly how we started from scratch. Hello and guys, guys, if you don't know me, I'm Wendy and if you guys give this video a lot of love, if you hit that like button and get 100 likes, everybody subscribe. Our next video is gonna be us collecting money from 24 vending machines. That's right, you guys. 24 vending machines. Go away. Okay, okay, she's right, you guys. We are gonna do that. I need you guys all to hit that like button. Get 100 likes. Everybody needs to be subscribed. And let's get this video started. I am gonna go ahead and switch setting. I'm gonna get a little bit more comfortable. And let's go. All right, you guys, I am finally sitting down with you guys and making this video. I have been getting asked a lot for a while. Um, it's been requested either comments, messages on my Instagram, and I wanted to be able to just be home, sitting down, you know, camera closer to me, and having like a conversation, a one-on-one -on -one with you guys because it's kind of like a story time. I am basically telling you guys exactly how we started our vending machine business from zero, from scratch, you guys, from from zero because we started this when we had no money for it. So I want to start all the way at the beginning, which was in around like November, December, we started talking about it. Um, so kind of like that timeline between November and January, he, Ale, Alejandro, he was working as an electrician um, in a company here in Arizona, and I was a personal trainer at LA Fitness. And basically, um, we had our schedules, and we have the kids, and we were always having to wake up really early, and then... You know, it was like this schedule that had us always having to be on time, having to respond to your boss. And we were getting very frustrated with that. So we started talking about like having our own business, like what would it be like for us to be our own boss and not have to be like at a job from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. because we have to be there because if we don't go we're not going to get paid or if we miss a day then we don't get paid because we missed that day or we're going to lose our job because we you know whatever for all these reasons that happens when you have a job right so when you have your own business you're your own boss you manage your own time and that's what we wanted to like focus on so we started talking about it started doing research, different businesses and stuff. And then um, I had told you guys in a previous video, we actually have vending machines where we live in a complex where we live. And we were kind of like looking at the vending machines and we were like, oh, this looks kind of cool. How does this work? Like who owns these vending machines? Where, um, like where's the person that supposedly fills them up? Because we've never seen him. Like we never saw the person that would fill them up. So we started kind of like asking ourselves, questions and kind of like having a conversation between each other like what is this and we started doing research because we got curious we got really curious about the vending machines and we did enough research to be like whoa like the machines are expensive um so that was like the first thing going online which was either offer up craigslist facebook marketplace obviously all these um websites that are available for you to like sell things and buy things and we were looking at vending machines that were for sale and they were pricey you guys like they were pricey and as an electrician he was making good money and I was doing okay as a personal trainer but that was enough like what we were making was enough to pay our bills to pay our rent to buy food and we wanted to have more money but in order for you to make more money you have to have money to invest right like you have to have money to invest and what we were making in our jobs at the time like it was not enough to pay everything that we had and have the money to invest so that's why like we say okay we started this business 
from scratch from zero because we didn't even have the money to invest in our first vending machines so what we actually ended up doing was getting a small personal loan from our bank we're very lucky that we have good credit and um we qualified for a personal loan so we went ahead we thought about it a lot you guys this was a thought process like the timing of this was a time process because like we started thinking about it in november but we actually came through and like got the loan and everything in december so that whole month was doing research thinking about how we were going to do it you know we still had our jobs so it was a thought process and it was the timing in december we decided okay let's go for it we're going to get the loan and we got the loan we got approved and we decided like that loan was going to be just for investing in the business like we're just going to take all of that and just invest it and obviously if it was going to be like the vending machines and that's what we were going to invest in so we started like we got the loan that's it right like you you qualify you get the loan the money's in your bank account and you're like okay so the next step is like finding what machines are we going to buy and like i'm going to be so honest with you guys and so real and i've mentioned it in a couple videos before when we started this business we had like no clue everything that came with vending machines like we got so excited and we got like you know like we were so passionate about having our business we got like the the whole idea of having vending machines seemed fun and exciting and so we were just kind of like going with that and we didn't find a lot of information online so <laughs> we had no clue like all the craziness that comes with vending machines okay you guys they're big they're heavy i've mentioned it in the past in other videos like i've um moving them is not easy um they're expensive of course you there's a lot that comes to it like if an issue happens with a machine like we we didn't know a lot you guys like we didn't know how to fix anything we didn't know how to set up a bill validator we didn't know so much there was so much that we didn't know we didn't know nothing all we knew was that it gave you snacks and it gave you sodas if you put in a dollar right that's basically all we knew because we saw them got curious because we were buying something off of one and that's basically like all we knew when we started so we didn't know the different brands we didn't know prices we didn't know what an older machine is going to be compatible versus a newer machine like all these things that had i known everything that i know now when we first started those very first machines we wouldn't have paid that price that we paid but basically you guys we paid we found this girl she was selling her vending machine business for four thousand well she was selling it for more but we came down to four thousand two hundred dollars that is what we brought it down to and that was a lot of money for what we got okay so basically we got two locations um two locations one location had a combo machine which the combo machine in that location was not bad it's a really nice machine it's one of our you know only combos that we have that we actually like we've had no issues with so that machine itself is nice um but the location was very slow when we when we got it obviously it took us a while to figure it out because you kind of start this business and you invest what you're going to put into it but you don't start seeing it right away so it took us a minute to be like well this location is not that great but when you were first buying it you have no clue so that happened with us we had no clue so we paid four thousand two hundred for those two locations the other location was okay that location was a lot better it had two machines a full full snack machine and a full soda machine and it was the location was good in that one but the machines are not that great one you know our snack machine is an older machine the soda machine in there was an older dixie narco single priced um you cannot mbd compatible like there's not a lot you can do with those single price machines and especially for the location because it was actually a good location it was like we paid for one good location with 
two older crappy machines and then one not so good location with a really good combo machine so all the money that we paid for maybe in the machines it would have been like three thousand three thousand two hundred but we still came out short like we still we paid like a thousand two hundred dollars more than what we should have like it was it was because we didn't know it was because we didn't know and that brings me to the other point like me and Ale always wanted to do YouTube like we had been talking about YouTube for a while I have my Instagram um if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram I will put them down here I actually have two Instagrams but you know I love social media and we were talking about that we're talking about starting our youtube channel we're both very much into fitness we love fitness obviously i'm a personal trainer so we kept talking like oh we should do youtube videos for this and that but we wouldn't get around to it like we would never get around to it we're so busy obviously and we didn't have the equipment for it we didn't have the cameras we didn't have you know i don't know like enough to get started on the youtube channel for that but when we started doing the vending machines and we kept trying to find information because from the get-go, from the very first day, we we were having to Google things because we, or like finding things on YouTube because we didn't know, we didn't know like if a coil was getting stuck or like everything, you guys, like we were clueless. Like when I say we're clueless, we we're clueless. And so we were like, why don't we make videos about this? Like let's do videos of our vending machine business and kind of make it you know like vlogs and entertainment and us kind of like learning along the way what this business is because it's been like that it's been the learning experience like as we go and so we decided like okay let's get this youtube channel let's grow our youtube channel let's make it you know like two things in one we have our vending machine business and we have the youtube channel and so that's why we actually started doing the videos and it's helped us a lot we have learned so much and that's like the one thing i want to say like it does suck that we started off not knowing a lot it sucks that we you know took this loan and we invested which at the time you know four thousand two hundred dollars to start off with this little business to start it off small it was a lot you know it was a chunk of money that we put in and we didn't know but we have learned so much along the way and it's kind of made us more knowledgeable now and we're able to help other people and that's why we're very open like with information that we do know we want to share it like we want to share with you guys what we have learned what we're learning what we're doing and we have also seen other you know vending machine experts and youtubers and we're in groups and every you know it's a really nice community everybody helps each other out and there's always like a question that somebody will answer for you and we've been able to also help other people with questions i get a lot of questions on instagram i always always try to get back to everybody and we just want to be helpful because we didn't have that like at the beginning we didn't have that knowledge and we could have avoided so many mistakes and so much money i do want to say that with the four thousand well the four thousand two hundred that we paid her um she also gave us a lot of product that she had she had a lot of inventory i would say she had like 400 400 500 dollars worth of inventory like sodas and snacks and chips that she said you know if you guys buy the machines from me then you guys can take all of that and we did so we ended up having all that but it was still too much even with that even with the you know with the snacks and the sodas like even with everything together it's just still too much and the only reason why i say that you guys is because i know now like i know what machines are worth and you know locations and it's just like if you're gonna buy a four thousand dollar machine you know you're paying for a really good like newer Dixie Narco whatever brand and you know it's compatible and you know it takes you know card readers it takes everything it takes ones it takes fives it's just like that's what you get when you pay for four thousand dollars for something but what we paid four thousand dollars for was not it was just not great you guys so 
Anyways, that was on us for making mistakes, for not knowing, and that's why we want to help you guys not make the same mistakes that we made. Um, because obviously if you can help somebody avoid a mistake, especially because of money, because obviously this is like the investment and this is money, and even though we got the loan, it's still money we're paying back, so it's still coming out of our pocket, you know? So you guys, at the end of the day, we are really happy how far we've come. We started this obviously like December, January, and we started with those three machines and fast forward eight months later, we have more than 20 vending machines. We have a bunch of locations. We have, I think over 15 locations and we're still growing you guys like we're not at first it was a lot of calling we were calling places and stuff and a lot of places would tell us no we don't need vending machines and this and that or vending machines were giving us issues we had to buy a lot of vending machines like we have continued investing um we've invested a lot you know from those 4200 that we started we have invested a lot more but we have a lot more to show for it. We really wanted to have passive income. Like we wanted to have money producing without us having to be there from seven to five to make that money. And that is what these vending machines have done for us. You know, they have been doing that for this passive income. Obviously you do have to work because yes, you have to take the time to go fill up your machines and you have to take the time to go to the store and buy everything and time, it's a lot of time. And it's a lot of work, obviously. And when you have problems with vending machines, you have to fix them. When you have to move a machine, you have to pay to move it. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot that comes with it. But it is worth it because we are building our business. We are, you know, working towards not having to, to do other jobs, but just have our business give us enough to pay our bills and to pay the rent and to travel and to do whatever we want. So... You guys, that is basically, yeah, that is another thing like I wanted to say, like we, obviously when you're at a job, like you can't take a vacation or you could only take a vacation once a year, you have to ask for permission. And that is like, that was really, really like annoying to us, like annoying to us because we're not from here. Like we have our families in other countries. I'm Colombian, so I have my family in Colombia and he's Cuban, he has his family in Cuba and we wanna be able to travel, we wanna go visit our families without having to, you know, wait until it's like our vacation time or only go for five days because that's the only days that they're gonna give us. Like, we really wanted to have our business, be able to go on vacations, be able to um, sleep in if we wanted to sleep in and wake up at 12 and do whatever we wanted you know like that's what that's what motivated us and got us started like that was our mindset and we haven't stopped obviously it's been like hustling 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 but we're we know we're working towards something good and that's kind of what keeps us motivated every day but I did want to sit and tell you guys all of that because I do get asked how did we start our business and that's how we started I did another video, which I will link it down below, of how you can start your own vending machine business with one location, two vending machines. And I put prices down and gave you an idea of like how much it would cost to, to go ahead and start like a business with machines. But that's not how we started. We started with three machines and two locations and we started with way more than money-wise than we could have had we known a lot. But anyways, I am talking a lot and I basically just wanted to sit down and do that with you guys. I thought it was going to be a short video, but obviously I started talking and talking and talking and I talk a lot. Um, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I mentioned, we now have more than 20 vending machines and we want to do a really big collections video. So... We want to we want to wait to you know get all our machines nice and full. Hopefully, we are filling them up this week with product and stuff with sodas. And we want our next collections video to be us collecting from twenty vending machines. 
So make sure that if you haven't already liked this video, everybody has to be subscribed and we're gonna get that huge collections video up for you guys, hopefully as soon as it gets 100 likes. So I really wanna see you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for everybody that has been watching us, everybody that has helped us because we've had so much help even on a video when we didn't know something, somebody, like one of our subscribers actually like helped us and told us how to fix it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us. And this is, was like my little story time of how we started our business. And I hope it helps you if you're planning on starting your own business. And that's it, you guys. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.